Okay, the first step in making your charger, what I had done is I took a T, uh, I believe this is half inch T, PVC, and I, it's a really old one as you can see by the price there. Anyway, they're about double or triple that. Drilled a quarter inch um, hole, a little bit larger than that, right in the top there. So that, that's the first step. The, uh, the second step is actually to run this quarter inch bolt, um, um, carriage bolt right up through there and then put nuts on the other side of it and secure it. Okay, so now after you get the hole drilled, you put the carriage bolt through there and you try to, I had to pound this in with the hammer a bit. You could probably go a little bit more than this as well too. The idea is for it to submerge itself inside there. I put two nuts, um, one it was helping the other one not to back its way out because the idea is that this thing, this spindle right here, this bolt is going to go right inside the uh, the uh, the chuck of the drill and that's going to uh, operate the mechanism. Okay, next I cut some PVC half inch pipe. It might be three quarters, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I cut that um, about an inch long here. And then another piece, a little wider than my hand, which you can see here, a little wider than my hand, maybe six inches long or so, six, seven inches. And then the next step is to actually assemble these with this elbow bracket here, like that. And I'm going to try a dry run. I'm going to assemble all this. Um, and if you try this and you try a dry run as well, try not to push the pieces together really uh, hard because they are very difficult to separate. You will need to go back and glue them afterwards when you get the size you want. Okay, here's the unit assembled. Um, it's the dry run so it's not glued together yet. I also have this other piece of pipe which is a little larger from a previous experiment I was doing. And essentially that could use... We, that we could use as the handle uh, if I decide to um, in order to in order to have this slip so the idea is that I would spin this uh, the the shaft in the drill would actually turn the crank turn the uh, turn the dynamo if you will inside the drill to to allow it to charge so uh, we're gonna give it the dry run test next Okay, the next step was I glued it all up real good, um, used a PVC primer and the PVC glue. I'm sure that you could get away with some super glue or whatnot as well, but I put a whole lot on there, so I'm going to give it a while. It worked good in the dry run, except it did fall apart on me because it wasn't glued together. Uh, I put a whole bunch of glue, PVC glue in there on the nuts as well too, as well as outside here around the carriage bolt. I made sure, try to make sure that that shaft went out nice and straight as possible um, so that uh, when, I, when this hand crank is being spun, it, uh, everything lines up as straight as possible as well too. So I'm going to let this dry for about an hour or so and then I'm going to come back and uh, give it the, the test. Okay, well here's the, the finished uh, product. Um, essentially what I had done is add the nuts in the washer and added some very thick um, quick setting epoxy to strengthen it. There's uh, what I bought and uh, built the rest of this as I had said with PVC and the nut and bolt going down the center and uh, it appears to work really well it gives me between four and five volts a uh, fair amount of amperage as well too enough to run this 27 LED um, light or I can run the uh, regular standard flashlight uh, which typically runs off of C batteries. I was able to get this fan running fairly slow and like I said with my voltometer it shows that I'm running between 4 and 5 volts um, so I'm going to actually uh, get my son to, to, spin the, uh, to spin the handle while I actually show everyone these different components running um, working and anyway we'll check back in when it just gets a little bit darker so that uh, the lights really show up a lot better because I'm sitting right here by a window and um, 
one last thing is I changed this to squeeze off the trigger so you don't have to hold it uh, as I had mentioned previously the drill is in reverse I am uh, tied off to the positive and negative leads down here at the bottom underneath the drill side you can see it I'm got some alligator clips in there I'm clipped onto the, the leads and uh, so I can essentially with the alligators on this other side get hook it up to whatever device I want to for experimentation this was an old drill the pack the battery packs wore out it's a cheapy uh, twenty dollar drill so I figured what's the harm in experimenting with this and I got this idea from another person on YouTube who d did this uh, mechanism with like a um, some type of a blender and a spatula or something I figured I could um, improve on the design to make it more functional uh, more practical especially if you're going to be spinning this thing, thing for a, a long period of time to uh, to power something up or to charge batteries or essentially from what I'm seeing with these devices that I've been running you can pretty much do anything uh, within that uh, voltage parameters and definitely can uh, charge a phone with it as well too you have the right uh, phone hook up to this as well and uh, so we're going to check back in after a bit here and uh, and run these uh, mechanisms to show everyone how it works okay here's the flashlight um, going right now see that uh, it's enough power to fully run that of course blinking because he's going slow. Go ahead a little faster. Yep, it's a uh, full power, okay. Okay, these this set of 27 LEDs we're gonna power next. They've taken the batteries out and connected to the positive and negative terminals. Go ahead and give it a whirl. Yep, lots of power there. The light off blinking because of the nature of him stopping and speeding up. You go real fast, stay consistently going, it stays lit, but either case, pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to take a look at the volts that this thing produces. Go as fast as you can, but steady. A little faster. Yeah. I was getting it up to about four, four to five yesterday. It's a little quirky. Needs like a stand or something like that to, to fully be able to, to twist that thing. Go ahead. Yeah, see that four and a half, five volts. Yeah. So it produces quite a bit, five. Anyway, okay. You get the idea. It's uh, it's, this handle right here is the thing that does the trick, and uh, this is optional, but it helps so you don't get a blister. A little larger size uh, PVC pipe you can slide right over here, and uh, keep you from getting a blister. That's about it. Hope you like it. Please feel free to leave comments.